From Universal Studios Hollywood, welcome to Home and Family. I think they have to give up pasta because of the gluten, because of the heaviness. But I have this incredible Andean Dream pasta. I made a memory salad with it, and it's I'm a great, easy, light thing. Wait for wait, it. Wait, wait for it. Wait, 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 ready? Magic. Yeah. Woo! And it's got. It's got a lot of. It's got a lot of superfoods in it. Very good. What's good for your body is good for your brain. So I'll be talking about that as well and teaching people how to make it yeah. very quickly. We'll talk about I wanted to do something. You know, people are so afraid of pasta these days. And this is gluten free. It's made for, with quinoa and quinoa flour. And it is so good. And, and it's one of those things that, that stays kind of al dente so it doesn't get mushy. Right. And quinoa is a superfood. It's got uh, all these amino acids. It it's too. got so much protein. Right. It's like one of the most perfect foods that you can eat, and Andy and Dream does the most beautiful pasta, um, the, the most beautiful quinoa pasta. And you know we're Mediterranean yes, people; we yes, love that we flavor. That's right. And nothing says your brain, nothing helps your brain better than the superfoods of things like kale and tomatoes and mushrooms and onions and quinoa. So I figured we'll, we'll just mix it all brain, together. Right? Yeah, right. you have to start, to start with the I'm brain. Out. I'm out. Yes. But your out. story is in you, whether or not you're remembering it. So it's very good to remember as much as you possibly okay. can. <laughs> Believe so how do we put this recipe together? Okay, Marilou? it's light, it's easy. If Even if you're not a chef, you can do this for your mom. So you basically cook the quinoa for six minutes and you cool it down. So let's say we're doing this amount. And then you add your... Um, uh, your kale, kale, chopped yes. kale. your yep. chopped kale, rustic <laughs> chopped kale, because it's nice and like hearty like that. And you're going to add your onions. You just mix all the ingredients together. You can find on the website, I'm sure, how yes, much you. We're going to have it on our website. On our website, yes. so all the different proportions. But it's like so easy to make. Anybody can make it. Mushrooms, red onion, some olives, because we love yes, that onions. Mediterranean olive flavor. And you just mix it all together. You can use as much as you want. I mean, I love a lot of kale because. To to me, kale is like, talk about a brain food. Yeah. It's like the most important thing. All right, so now we have our sauce. Can you make a nice salad dressing? Nice. nice salad dressing with olive oil. And you don't need to use that much, usually like a half a cup or whatever. So, you know, we'll just do it like this. Do you salt your water when you use quinoa? I don't. You don't know salt? No, so you're you not a salt to. person? I'm not a salt person. Okay. I'm I'm not, I usually don't put salt in anything, but I think that's just me. You're you know, right. I let people like do what they want. So this is about two tablespoons or whatever. Okay. And also the juice of two lemons. Mm. And did you know that um, quinoa was considered, this is, according to the United Nations, this is the International Year of Quinoa, 2013. I did not know this. And it's just a fun word to say. You like to say <laughs> it. No, I like to say it. Everything's getting a year, a month. A year. Yeah. <laughs> this month is, what are we doing? This is a great month. One. Uh, was, uh, month of May is. It was mayonnaise month. I don't May know. No, it was egg no. month, National Egg Month. Egg month. It's egg month. Egg month. Remember you made egg salad. Yeah, I wish month. it was National Mayonnaise Month, what but it's only eggs. <laughs> Celebrating mayonnaise. Yeah, celebrating mayonnaise this week. Okay. Then you do a little bit of garlic, a little salt and pepper, you know, garlic whatever you is want. good for the blood. Everything. Yeah. Well, everything everything that's good for your body is good for your brain. And this company makes like so many great products that use quinoa as a base. And um, where can you, you get this? You get it at Whole Foods. You can get it at Whole Foods, okay. you can get it on their website, whatever. And parsley, of course, that's like cleansing. Talk about cleansing your blood. So we'll we'll should oh, we mix our Yeah, so let's first? do that. Okay. Why do, um, I was just <laughs> digging in because I look so good. Go ahead. Man. I know. I'm jumping in here with a, with a, a question out of left field here, but they said fish, and because I'll hear you say, you know, salmon, all that stuff is omega good for threes. the brain. Omega That's, right. Why, That's right. Why? Why? What? Because it's got, a, a, you know, omega threes. You can also use like sea vegetables if you're vegan or whatever. Uh -huh. But okay. once in a while, you need a piece of fish, possibly, and yeah. so then you might as well have it. And salmon is always like the best. Because the your best. body can't manufacture omega three fatty acids. You only get it through food. Okay. Yeah. What happened? My also, workers on. I don't know what happened. They, they it's, walk you know, off the job. I guess. No, it's, you know, sometimes you just need something a little bit extra, and it's. Part of the food chain, sure. whatever. Um, I just want to point out that Emily is 11. She's, she's, she's wolfing it down. Crazy. But you know what? You have an old soul. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. She, she plays like a sophisticated grown yeah. up. Yeah. That yeah. is not. You you might look like a child, but I don't think there's a child. She's, I know eating. I know. It's it's good. Child's brain in there. Kale, and she yes. says it's good. Kale. You like the kale? Yeah. Yes. You know, sometimes. I mean, you know what? With kids, if you build it, they they will become. They will. They will. They will become. I love that. If you build it, they will become. I wrote a book in 2000 called Healthy Kids, and the 
that title was even available to me was crazy. Wow. But it was available, and I started writing about kids, and everything that we were talking about in the book has come true. And we're sicker and heavier than ever, and our children are falling apart. And the problem is that, you know, we, we pump them up with chemicals and mm -hmm. preservatives That's and true. hormones, and then we expect them to sit still in school, and when they can't, we pump them up with ADD and ADHD right. medicine, right. and then we wonder why we have problems later on. So yeah, but you know make what, them eat the good food. But yeah, but then we don't have awkward family photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so really right? what's more important? So we should really just keep giving them all the mm. chemicals, I think, because then we have some great stuff. Guys, you with me down Talk there? Talk to Mary Lou, this is refreshing, it's delicious, it's full of flavor, it's good for you, it's really That's yummy. Right. Mm -hmm. I really like uh, it, thank you. It's made with quinoa. Everything is on our website, hallmarkchannel.com forward slash home and family. We're coming right back. Christine, you have a mouthful of food you want me to tell everybody? Okay, get ready. We're going to create some really cool mercury glass finish on a vase that you can that you can really well give it to your mom. Give it to your mom. It's a fantastic gift. Look at that. Christine is up next.